Hi, and welcome to this demo of installing Noports onto uh, an Oracle Cloud instance. Uh, so I'm starting from our documentation, and I'll come back to this in a moment just to uh, copy this script. Uh, but first, I've already got myself logged into the Create Instance uh, page. I'm going to call this instance uh, Oracle MP1, and I'm going to paste in my SSH key. In fact, it was already there for autocomplete. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I need to do Show Advanced Options. And I can now paste in the Cloud Init script. So let's go and grab that. Uh, get a copy of it here and paste it in. And what I need to do here is just edit uh, these variables at the top uh, so that they're using the correct at signs. So I'm going to use my personal at sign for the client. I'm going to use an at sign called bare indoor netball for the device. And I'm going to call this device the same as uh, the VM, so OCI NP1. And my OTP, I've set a semi permanent key of 123456. OK, I can now hit uh, create and uh, let that uh, VM spin up. All right, so that's provisioning. It's going to take a couple of minutes to do that. Uh, so I'll pause here and be back in a moment. OK, and I'm back because this uh, VM is now showing us running and uh, should have had time to uh, run through its scripts. So the next stage is to approve uh, the uh, APCAM key. If I go back to the documentation, uh, we can see here this line, and I've got that already in my shell. Um, so I'm gonna just run and activate approve with the at sign bear indoor netball, with the namespace no ports with the device name OCI NP1. And that's uh, gone ahead and done that enrollment. What that means is that the key will now be available for the daemon to start. And with that daemon started, I should now be able to uh, connect uh, to that VM using no ports. So I've got a command line ready here. Uh, so SSH no ports from CP1 to Berend or Netball with the device OCI NP1 through the rendezvous point uh, of EU with the user OPC. Let's give that a go. So the no ports client is doing its usual thing, communicating with the daemon, exchanging keys. And I just need to accept the machine key. And I'm now signed in to that uh, Oracle Cloud VM uh, without ever having to have any ports exposed and without uh, having to log into it to do any installation. Thanks for watching.